Is it gonna smell like shit down here? It's not too bad. I've been doing this for a while. I'm, I don't even smell it anymore. You're used to it, but I might smell it. Yeah. Vince DeShulo works for the county of Newcastle, Delaware. His job today is to test for the coronavirus using samples of wastewater. You know, poop. This is a automated sampler. These are main pipes that come into this pump station facility. This plumbing right here, it pumps wastewater through. So let, let me open this for you. I'm gonna give you a little space here. Newcastle, which includes Wilmington, is one of more than 400 communities across the country that are monitoring the pandemic through this digestive-based approach. So now you're pulling raw sewage out. I actually have a full bottle. It's, it's not really as bad as it looks. You're not handing a, a whole pile of, you know. Turns out, when people are infected, traces of the virus show up in their waste. Kind of giving it a little swirl here. DeShulo is more comfortable handling poop than most people are talking about it. But while testing samples doesn't tell officials exactly who is infected, it does give a good sense of just how bad an outbreak is. After the samples are processed, the data comes back to Mike Harris, a scientist with the county. The station we just sampled, there's 68,000 people that discharge their wastewater goes to that sample. And they did the math and they estimate that approximately 1,600 new cases of COVID-19 in that sewage area. Is that, is, is that the same as what the official county health data is? The official county health data showed that there were 28 new cases during the period. Oh, wow, that's a big difference. So that would be 2.3% of the population. It suggests that, that we're, we're undercounting significantly. Yes, absolutely. Sewage isn't just giving a more accurate portrait of current cases. It's also helping officials get ahead of outbreaks. The analysis is still in its early stages, but so far, testing waste seems to indicate when people are infected several days before they have symptoms. So the recent science is showing that people shed the virus very early on. So through this testing, theoretically, you should see the signal of the virus showing up in wastewater like probably about a week before people actually get sick and get tested. That's a big head start. Yeah. Scientists are optimistic about what can be learned from these sewers. But the fact that local officials have to go digging through their community's poop for answers on the spread of COVID tells them something else. The federal government isn't doing enough. Welcome to uh, Delaware City. Matt Myers, the county executive who signed off on Newcastle sewer dive. So imagine my position as a local leader. I'm the chief executive of a county with 560,000 people. We haven't been getting much leadership from Washington. And we got to figure out what to do. And you go back to mid-March, there wasn't even much testing. And so we had almost no information about where this virus was in our communities. Experts say America should have been testing a million people a day to keep pace with the pandemic. Instead, four months into the crisis, we're still only doing about three quarters of that. And delays in getting results mean a lot of those tests are effectively useless for monitoring the virus's spread. Meyer says the wastewater data has helped the county make decisions about reopening and direct extra testing to hotspots. In another time, you can imagine the CDC, National Institutes of Health, or the EPA would be developing strategies like this, and they'd flow down to counties, municipalities, states. Is this an important way to supplement other testing you're doing in the county? Yeah, I think hand in hand they work well. The biggest problem with testing, in my view, is there's not enough of it. I think we should test everyone and test everyone on a regular basis. It's very expensive. Uh, it takes a huge amount of resources, but this is America, and that's what we should be doing.